Hello everyone, and welcome back. It's really nice to have you here. So this is a process video for a painting that I titled Our Gentle Hands. And before I talk about the meaning behind this piece, I thought it'd be nice to go into some of the more technical aspects of how I created this painting. So a sort of age-old question with artists is how to render hands properly, whether it's painting or drawing or even sculpting. And I've always had trouble with hands as well, but I think I would say the main thing that has really helped me to paint hands properly is to really think of them in a very abstract way. So that instead of painting what you think hands should look like, you're painting only exactly what you see right there in that moment. And obviously when you're creating something that's meant to be a finished and final product, it really helps to have a grid on your canvas beforehand so that you can sketch it out properly and proportionally. And so when I was making this piece and I had my sketch laid out, I just went like I usually do, section by section, observing the colors that I see and putting them down and blending them as best as I could. And the only new and sort of tricky aspect of this piece was the, uh, the glowing butterfly and the, the glowing blue light that was produced onto the hands. And so what really helped me render this properly was actually doing it in Photoshop beforehand so that at this point I could just paint exactly what I saw and didn't have to think about it too much. But what I think really made this light convincing was actually how it diffused into different colors. Because when this blue light made contact with a fleshy skin tone, it produced a lot more purples and maroons. And the other thing that I got asked a lot about on this piece was how I made the glow of the butterfly. And as you can see, it actually wasn't too complicated. The light nearest to the butterfly was just the most concentration of blue, and then further layers out from that, I mixed more and more black. And the other component in the butterfly that really made a convincing glow was actually the light that's in between all these fine black details. Because once I had blocked this all in, I made sure to soften these edges so that the glow went beyond the edges and created the illusion of light. And the final component of this piece was these abstract marks that I like to add in because I feel like they not only add movement to the piece, but also add to the meaning behind it. And when thinking about the meaning behind this piece, I really wanted it to almost serve as an example of this sort of idealized world where humans understood the balance that nature was trying to achieve. And this idea of gentle hands that are working hard to not only create, but preserve what we have. And those abstract marks serve as a reminder of our deterioration and the temporary nature of our existence. Because no matter how powerful humanity has become, we are still only a microscopic portion of the timeline of the world. So I hope that this background information on the technique and the meaning behind this piece really helps your appreciation for it. I know that I really appreciate this painting and I'm so happy that it sold so quickly. I put so much time and effort into this piece and I'm really happy with the result. And so like I said, the original is sold, but I will be doing a print release of this painting pretty soon. So you can find more information about that on my website, which is austinhowlett.com. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want, you can leave a like or a comment or even subscribe if you really want to.